Yo, what's up, and welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be getting part 3 finally of the Mayel series vs. the Monic Beasts. And no Freya, so we're gonna be running this team instead. Mayel is the only one that's on an attack set, but the only change I made to gear is Red Tarmiel. I had to like give him a recovery rate, like peace, so he can like revive enough. And his HP drops so that he is the lowest HP. So he is the one that's going to be focused on attacks. And we're running bootleg artifact set. We don't have dogs. The dog card. So we're going to be running this instead. To give us a little more stats for angels in this fight. Hopefully it helps enough. With Margaret being in the team, I think most priority would be to like get a buff in early and push ult to like survive basically until we can get that boost in from her passive. Cause without it, I think Tarmiel will die pretty fast. And yes, I did test Tarmiel with his normal HP pieces. He did die on I think the second phase. And sometimes we would make it to the third phase and I would die there. So I think re this recovery piece helps a literal butt load so he can actually survive and heal off his passive pretty nicely. And Mael just does crazy damage so you don't have much to worry about there. Other than you might not have to like, you might have to dodge using him because he just does too much damage especially for the third phase. Also, one other thing that you gotta make sure and like focus on is getting Liz ults. You have to like push them in certain situations because if not, you will just f come up short and you will die, which is automatically reset. So getting her ults is pretty much a must in this team. Phase 2, there's one thing that I have realized is you want to get a heal in before he can deactivate you because most likely you're not going to get it. And the deactivate comes on his second hit in phase 2. So what you want to do is probably if you can get a heal for like turn 1 on second phase or you can most likely heal on the, his second turn because when you're deactivated he's going to ult you the following turn anyway. So that's just so your Tarmiel guarantees like survivability basically. And one more thing that's very important, try your best to save level 3 cards. If you can come out of this phase with at least 2, that's golden because getting through with this team without the ult removal is tough and you need to get your level 3's in order because getting down his bar will be a pain so getting this ready beforehand is kind of a must with this team I think and once you're in this phase I think another thing, don't rush to end this phase because you might find yourself rushing because Mael is doing a ton of damage but try your best to go in with as, mon as many cards that are not level 1 as possible. If you can go in with maybe 2 level two level 3's and some level 2's or some ults, it would be better for you because you don't want to go in there and just not have enough because you want to finish this with at least some decent HP. That's one thing I did not realize until it was kind of a little too late so I had to like stall a few rounds just to get off a decent HP.
this was one moment where I kind of wanted to get a little greedy honestly here I wanted to get literally to under maybe 20% with Altarmia level 2 and getting a Lizalt but I was like oh I can't I gotta play it I gotta play it as safe as I can I don't get greedy and don't fail so because my HP is pretty fine here so I could just play it as safe as I could Now I'm gonna kip myself, but I kinda did take a little bit longer than I wanted to on this phase. Because I wanted to get like full HP I was like if it's not gonna happen, I might as well just end it here. That's like a, the best I could get it probably. So I just decided to get the heal and just go for it, honestly. Because I'm pretty sure with this team I have to heal in the first turn of um floor two anyway, so I decided to just end it team performance overall crazy well Mael does insane damage even though he's 1 6 that ult does not disappoint hopefully this team works great on floor 2 as well and i'll see you guys in the next one